Alan, thanks for your time. Um, a decent end to what was quite a tough day overall. Uh, yeah, I think so. I think it was slightly disappointing to be what we considered to be below par with the bat, and then I think they batted with great discipline, uh, made it really difficult for us, but it was nice to pick up those last couple of wickets at the end of the day. I thought we deserved that. Yeah, how disappointing was that effort with the bat, particularly after what happened last week against um, Derbyshire, such a good performance? Yeah, I think these things can happen. It will be disappointing for the boys, but we know that we've got another innings to, to put a good score on the board and, and to keep ourselves in the game. So I think the boys have got to look, keep, keep looking forward to that rather than arcing on to, too much on that, uh, the first innings. And what's your assessment of the bowling um, in particular? I mean, Josh came roaring back um, late on there, but overall, what are your thoughts? Yeah, I, think, I thought Josh was fantastic. I thought he was a standout bowler on both sides, if I'm honest. I might be slightly biased when it comes to that. Uh, and yeah, I think we, we just need to keep chipping away, uh, keep backing each other up, bowling in partnerships. Uh, some of the stuff that we talk about and trying to create as much pressure as possible. And Josh did that. And the guys have got to keep back, backing him up and, and work together as a four, really. And it was nice that Ross came in and picked up a vital wicket as well. Yeah, it's partnership breaker. Yeah, he's got a bit of a golden arm, Ross. It's just like having that slightly different angle. You know, he practices really hard. He's bowling it. Um, and useful for someone like Joe to have, uh, to have Ross to uh, just call upon when needed. So looking ahead to tomorrow, I mean, obviously, hopefully some, some more quick wickets in the morning. Yeah, I think so. Uh, like I, said, I think we've got to try and keep them as close to us as possible. Uh, can't try and force it too much, but bowl with discipline uh, and keep showing that, that patience that we've, I think we've shown throughout the season. Just chip away and keep them really close so that we, you know, hopefully can um, Build on something after that. Is it, so is it with, I mean, everybody knows how much talent that Tommy's got. Is he just pulling it together game after game? Is that thing that he needs to focus on now? Because when we saw he gets seven wickets in one game, and he didn't have perhaps the greatest game, and then he comes back again and does get wickets. I think so. I, yeah. I, I think with Josh, you know, he's still quite young when it comes to it. You know, he's been around quite a while, but he hasn't played probably the volume of games he'd always like. Uh, he's had a couple of injuries, so you know he's coming back from that. He, you know, even this year he started behind everyone else because he had shoulder surgery. So, yeah, I think you know with the young players, as with all of them, but you know you're potentially going to get that little bit of inconsistency in performances. But you know, Josh has shown over a period of time that he can he can produce those time and time again. So, you know, I thought he bowled beautifully at, at Durham, uh, and then again today I thought, like, like I said, I thought it was a standout performance. Because if you look at his ratio, he gets when he plays, and he gets wickets to me. He's got a really good sort of mid four wickets a game, sort of average. Yeah, I think as we saw today, yeah. he can bowl with a really good pace. Yeah. Uh, he gets good bounce, good movement. He hits the seam. So I think you know he's got the attributes to take wickets, and he's got balls in him. And I think we saw that today. You know he can bowl accurately, but he can also be nice and hostile as well, which is great for us to have. I mean, I suppose the, the target to try and restrict them to maybe 200 tomorrow, and then you, you're well in the game again then. 150 or like or 150. No, I think we just like we say we've got to be realistic, try and keep them as close to us as we can, and then we can build from there, hopefully, with the bat in the third innings.